Okay, my Love Island Australia fans, we got to talk about this episode. The Hideaway is open again for one couple. The Truth Bike is back once again this season. And then there's one boy dumped at the end of the episode. All right, you guys, welcome back to Romance Review TV. It's Lady T, and I got another recap for you guys. Love Island, Australia, season four, episode number 21. And without any further ado, let's talk about what went down in Spain today. So we're coming off that last episode where both Tina and Mitch, season three winners, were back in the villa and the emotions are high. And then we lost one girl, Maddie, who was dumped from the villa. Now, of course, with Colm now being single, he has the option of talking to Tina, who he had that date with uh, on the previous episode. And it seems that Tina really wants to get to know Colm, but I think she's barking up the wrong tree. I met him like at home in my hometown like we got along like it would be something that like I would go on on the second date so at the moment I feel like it's in a good place pumps up my tires a little bit not that they need to be pumped up anymore yeah now why these two lovebirds are making out Austin get a text are we all here yeah brother Islanders. the hideaway is open tonight oh. Jess and Al, just enjoy your night of privacy. Hashtag, (laughs) hashtag leave at the door, hashtag Jess to impress. Now, remember, Al said that his mom do not want him having sex on TV. However, he's looking for dog collars and Jess needs a shave. It's in the drawer there on the right, dog collars. I was like, huh? a dog car. Um, What's something that you would yeah. wear? I usually wear boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Let it hang, brother. Just nothing shit. on top. Yeah, and collar. And dog collar. Yeah. yeah. Did you shave? Yeah, as you have a juicy shave. Can you go to the mask? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I have a hairy oh. ass. Oh. I'm too happy. So, yes, Jessica stripped down to her sexiest lingerie. Al decides to wear a dog collar and bark at Jessica as they walk into the private room. And, yeah, they're trying to get their little romance on. And, yeah, check it out. And Al has been waiting on this. Nobody else. No one can hear us. We can speak as loud as we want, say whatever we want and <clears throat> touch each other as much as we want to. <laughs> what? And honestly, it looked like these two were over the moon excited. They had all of the little treats that they could eat or tease each other or even play, you know, who knows. Um, had their little bit of wine. And this is something that I was going to keep my eye on because of the fact of what Al said, you know, about him not sleeping or having sex while on national TV. And that was a source of frustration for Jessica as well. Well, did they actually do to do when they were in the hideaway? Let's see. Talk deep. This couldn't come at better timing. I thought you were. I have a video with you. Yeah, do you really say that? Yeah, no, honestly, I do. Like, I'm not, I'm not just saying it just because, like, I actually do. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I actually generally do. Yeah, like, I, I like, do. I feel like we, like, you take all my boxes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you take a lot of my boxes. So it looked like obviously Al did not listen to his mom because first of all, Jess looked like she is resting very comfortably and woke up with a big old smile on her face. 
And yeah, we just saw what happened in that previous scene. So we know what went down with Jess and Al in the hideaway. I made it. Couldn't come at a better time. We definitely made the most of it. And we just resist um, ripping each other's clothes off. Look like Jess's lingerie didn't last five minutes because it was not on her. Anyway, what did she have to say about last the night? hideaway and like the power of privacy. It really fast-tracked our connection. Um, and I feel like I'm a lot closer to Al now. So, yeah, I'm really excited. So, any concerns that Jessica had for Al in regards to building more of a connection, especially physically? I don't think those concerns no longer exist. But, you know what? I'm going to let her tell you And that. that has now been squashed. No more concerns. Jessie's happy. So now, of course, this morning, the couples had to debrief with the fellow Islanders and then reveal exactly what went down the night before. We went in. It just got heated straight away, like straight away. So we ended up doing snacks, appetizers, entrees, mains, main main for no! Are you lying? I swear to God. Are you lying? I swear to God. Yeah, we had a buffet. Oh, yeah. Jess had the full banquet. I, no one expected this. Uh, everyone probably knows I wasn't really planning on, like, having sex. Yeah, sex. yeah, pounding in here. But, um, and that's just like... Did you pound? Go in there! Ah! What the fuck? People were laughing, joking. When I said we're gonna do some couples counselling, but realistically, it's worked wonders. So, yeah, it's definitely um, it might be a cushion for me um, becoming a counsellor, hundred percent. However, I did mention that the truth bike was back, and as much as they took ten steps forward, looked like they took ten steps back after Al addresses questions. If there was some new bombshells to come in, would you entertain the idea of getting to know them? Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I will get to know them. Um, any bombshell that walks in, I will get to know them, and I think I've told Jess that as well. Ooh, or not. <laughs> Jess. Is there anything that you feel is missing in our connection? Oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, I feel like there's still a lot of things to build on. I'm not too sure in point on what's missing, but I haven't worked out yet. Like, how is there something missing if I'm the whole goddamn package? Stella. Do you count flirting as cheating? <laughs> Good answer. Um, I do believe a degree of flirting is right because it's playful and out of person, and I do like getting attention here and there. But um, I do believe we will slip up every once in a while. Red flag. Oh, no. Far out. Al, seriously? But I'm just, I'm just being honest. Red flag. You know, all girls keep asking me, I'm honest, I want to be this, that. All right, I'm being honest. I'm telling you the truth. Like, and then what, you're not happy when you hear the truth? Maybe I should have lied. So that uncomfortable truth that uh, Al spoke of didn't sit well with Jessica at all. And that's the thing. I do agree with him. A lot of people want honesty, but they don't want to actually hear the, the things that they don't want to hear. But sometimes it's not what you want to hear, it's what you need to hear. And she needs to know that about him to make a decision on how to move forward. Now, he's been reassuring her in this conversation, but, you know, he's being honest about it. And what can you do? The flirting is just instantly cheating. I can trust her and I just want Jess to be the same. I like you to the point that if a bomb walked in, I wouldn't even entertain it. That's how interested I am in you. Yeah. His head hasn't turned really? for anyone while he's been with me. But yeah, no, I don't trust Al 100%. Um, I feel like trust needs to be built. So that's an interesting question. Is different levels of flirting cheating? I want to know your thoughts down in the comment, but let's continue. So Stella decides to end things with Tack. Oh, Tack, I feel so bad for him, but... 
Let's hear what she had to say. How my head is just going left, right and center. And I think that's like unfair on him. And I just am not vibing it, essentially. So despite Tack having this crush on Stella for weeks, during this particular episode, she decides that she doesn't quite reciprocate the same feelings and end things once and for all. And she said that she's just not vibing it, you know, and she delivered the blow to talk in person. She says she's usually a people pleaser, but in this situation, not any longer. She wanted to be direct. I am usually a people pleaser, but this time I had to be a bit more direct and yeah, let him know how I was feeling. And the thing is, is that Tak is a very nice, intelligent guy. And a lot of these girls that come in this villa who's gotten with Tak, they don't see that edgy dude. And that's just so unfortunate because he could be a very good guy for one of these ladies. Once me, for me. And it's just an interesting phenomenon to watch. As much as women complain about the bad boys, the F boys, they still chase after them and just disregard or overlook. Or the good guys are totally just non-existent. So then we got Mitch and Tina because these two, as much as they want to interact and meet with the other Islanders, they are still gravitating to one another because obviously there's still some unfinished business between these two, which whatever the cheating situation with Emily, yeah, but obviously these two really want to be with each other. It's the experience I'm trying to do that, but then yeah, well, obviously with Tina and I, we're going to continue to speak, get drawn to each other. So I'm a bit like, you know, what's going on? What's happening right now? I feel like in a way, I feel like in a way, do you actually want me to answer that? I thought they were well, like, a question. That, I think that's like a really difficult question. Why? Well, obviously I know you best. I'm going to obviously just naturally gravitate towards you. The way I describe it, I feel like it's like a magnet. It's like a loaded question to be fair. I need the answer to it when I ask. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want? Yeah, yeah, I know. Mitch and I seem equally confused. I guess there's not many situations where you're put in a place where you're meant to date around your ex. Like, I want to be here. Yeah, I yeah, don't want to see him getting on with people. Like, I thought I wouldn't care, but obviously I'm, I'm going to. Easy for Mitch to say, like, I'm gravitating towards you, but I don't even know how to unpack that information because I don't know what that means and he doesn't know what it means. So obviously they broke up so abruptly that they didn't have an opportunity to talk. But now that they have, I'm wondering if these two are going to get back together. So with that being said, Colm is interested, of course, in Tina. And he's having a real problem with her still having an attachment with her ex. And that conversation goes on between him and Mitch. With the anglers, like the flute's there, the chat's there, she looks hot, but then at the same time, it's like, you know, she fucking mixes a chat with her, and obviously, like, they're chatting for fuck it, because obviously, they've been together for before, they've been together for before, and like, have a lot to talk about. They have a lot to talk about, like, like time, do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, at the end of the day, she's gonna make decisions, does she wanna fucking make the same mistake and get back with her ex? Yeah. Where do you genuinely think your head's at? Fuck, I don't really know, I don't really have a plan of attack with regards to her, like, it's kind yeah. of just like seeing it's what happens a bit. Happens. Do you ever think that you guys would, like, get back together? I never really, like, considered... I never really thought about it, to be fair. Like, yeah. you know, maybe it is, like, a case of, like, right person, wrong time. Okay. I don't know. Of course I'm not. Like, I've got my hands full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hands are full. Yeah. And he's definitely still in the picture, which is a bit frustrating, because she's still semi-attracted to her ex. I've got to just keep putting my best foot forward and get into it. What? I don't want to get a selfie here, but, yeah, I think, for me, this is it. This is it. I just need to just make sure I play my cards right and don't fuck it up like I normally do. It's an important thing about yeah, And like yeah. the reason why people break up is because they break trust and they try to make it work. But once you've broken that trust, bro, it's you know what I related to? All I can say, Tina, is I don't think Colm is that dude for you. I mean, and it'll be manifest even more when we talk about the truth bike. So the truth bike is up once again. And yeah, there are some uncomfortable truths. Check it out. Do you still have feelings for Bomb Mitch? Ooh. Yes, but I don't know what those are. Would you say you're completely closed off to Bomb Mitch? Good I'll say no. When I came in, I obviously was like, no, I'm closed off, but now it's really hard being in the villa because I think you've got to be open to everyone. Mitch. Do you trust me? I was going to ask that. Yes, and I don't know why. 
I just trust him because I'm an idiot, obviously. <laughs> Big fella, could you see things progressing more than friendship with Stella? I'm going to go yes, but it's Very early days. Yeah. Did you sleep with Emily more than once? <gasps> no. No. We pretty much didn't speak after it, to be fair. <laughs> I was like, block. <laughs> <laughs> is Emily hotter than Tina? Oh. oh. You did get asked this last time. I, did, I hope I'm, it's changed. I'm saying no. I said yes last time. Yeah. But I think, obviously, there's a lot more feelings involved. Tina is hotter. <laughs> Sorry, Emily. Love you. Oh, no. Fuck. That just slipped out. I did not mean that. <laughs> now, with Jordan, he have some brutal truths for Phoebe H. Hit me. Do you feel like anything is missing in your connection with Phoebe H? Yes, Phoebe I'm H is only 21 and she's got a lot of growth to do. Stella? Could you see a relationship with Phoebe H? No, not at this point of time. Um, I think with my age and maturity compared to Phoebe H's, I think like we are definitely on a different level. I felt a bit hurt, honestly, as answers. Jess. If Phoebe H was with us on day one, would you still have chosen Claudia? Yes, initial attraction. Um, Claudia's a beautiful girl. That's very blunt and quick. And that's the thing about honesty. If you want the honest truth about something, you have to be prepared to hear something that doesn't sound so favorable. And in this case, you would want to know versus want to be told what you want to hear. So I will say that he said he was just being honest. Same thing happened with Al on his truth bike, which upset it, Jessica, because he said that, you know, and I think I, you know, talked about that earlier, where he would actually be open to talking and getting to know and the whole conversation about flirting. Now we got this whole thing with um, Stella wanting to get to know Kala. Really? Why? You've seen what happened. It seemed like they line up for this guy only to end up out the door. And we already got Tina that eh, maybe she's on the fence now, but now Stella. Really, Stella? So they got a text message saying to gather around the fire pit immediately. And you know, when we see Sophie Monk, somebody is about to get dumped. And this is no exception in this case either. So the girls had to pick tonight as the boys are on the chopping block. And of course, first up is Phoebe. She picked her boy Mitchell. Claudia, of course, chose Austin. No surprise there, except the fact that she got trust issues. And then they obviously hashed it out. Phoebe H is back with Jordan. Now, it was Stella's turn. Stella is the wild card. And she actually ended up with season three winner Mitchell. And then last but not least is Tina. And she had to make a decision between Column and Tack. Pull up with Is. Callum. So with Tina's decision, that means that Tak is the next Islander to be sent home. He packs his bags and he returns to the real world. Now, it's just so unfortunate because he's such, he's very intelligent from what I gather. The girls saw him as the advisor and they friend zone him, of course. But you know what? I'm not worried about Tack. His DMs are going to be filled. And so, unfortunately, he gets to leave the villa. But hey, there's some wonderful girl out there waiting for him. I don't think Callum should still be in the villa. I think he had his shot and he blew it. I did my best. I put my best foot forward and I stayed genuine to myself. And that's all you can do. I wasn't their first pick, then I didn't want to be an option. Not second best to anyone. Girls of Australia, stop falling for fuckboys. Stop being stupid. You know, genuine guys are here too. I was hoping for him and Vaku, and maybe he can go and see if she's still interested. But I guess we got to stay tuned. Okay, so let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. Why is it that so many of the ladies are going for Column, who clearly has a ton of red flags, 
versus a guy like Tack, who is very wise, very intelligent, and a nice guy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.